We are here at Raglan Road with the Willis Clan. I have seen them here before. They are back here at Walt Disney World making more live appearances. Hey guys, how does it feel to be back at Walt Disney World and Raglan Road? Six months! And gee, I know you guys are really busy with your show schedule. Do you get to like, take a little time off and kind of enjoy the atmosphere here? Absolutely. Well, we definitely try and get around. Obviously, there's lots of lovely sites, and as the kids grow up, you know, they may not remember we've been here before, but it's all new for them. So we're definitely going to be checking out uh, some of the new attractions and things, and, and obviously enjoying our time here in this lovely park. Oh, excellent. And I have to say, last time I saw you, they were so little and their talent just blew me away. And that talent keeps growing. You're all great at dancing, you're all great at music, and I know I watch reality TV shows. You all have individual interests and talents, too. Can you tell me, how do you guys balance having so much to do professionally with just plain old having fun and pursuing your other interests? Well, they always say play, uh, work hard, play hard, you know, which is a... Uh, you know, in general, saying a lot of people say, but we really take that seriously, and we find enjoyment in a lot of our work as well. Um, we do music professionally, but a lot of times we're just having fun, hanging out, we're doing music as well. Um, so yeah, I think if you're, do, if you're doing something that you love, you know, that, that work and, and fun, it definitely makes a balance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think your enjoyment is so apparent when you're performing. And now I have to say, Mom, okay, you, did you ever imagine when you first had children that it would come to this, that you would have uh, this talented clan? Well, first of all, before my husband and I ever got married, we talked about having 12 kids. And we actually wow. said that number, that that was what we were going to shoot for, so we're very blessed to be at that number now. Um, Toby and I actually enjoyed doing music together and individual when we were growing up with our own families. So it was sort of a natural fit. Did I ever think we were going to be professionally traveling the world, have a reality TV show? No, I didn't see it going there. But um, we both enjoyed music very much. And we feel really strongly that when parents have a passion for something and then they share that with their kids, the kids get excited about it. And that's a great foundation for a family to, to do things together and have a great relationship together. Oh, it's wonderful. And then I remember last time when you were here, um, that was the original reality show. Now, you guys, it's just amazing to see where you've been. But I know you're such a regular family, too, from seeing you before. What's it like um, kind of maintaining, you know, that naturalness while having the cameras follow you around? You mean naturalness like letting them fight and make messes and have to clean up and everybody's hungry and someone needs a shower? And yet, you know what? You just can't get away from the basic, natural, regular old things of life. Even the biggest celebrities that you've ever met have the same basic needs and things that you have to do every day. And we just try to be very in touch with that and so that we can be in touch with all of our fans and the people that look at us. But we also feel like it's important to go beyond that. I mean, you could just live your life existing and doing the basic things like working a job and making money and eating and doing your laundry and all that. But we think there's some really beautiful things in life that you can go beyond and enjoy traveling and music and people and art. And dancing and just all the great things that, that there are out there to do. You can pass those basics and get out with the really exciting things. Oh, you guys really personify that, and I thank you so much for chatting with us today. Looking forward to seeing the performances. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. We're here, um, in, it's always fun to be in Disney World, and Raglan Road is one of the coolest. It's so authentic. Um, we've been there many times, and, and you just walk in, and that's exactly where you think you are. So, we're going to be pulling out some of our favorite items, some old stuff, some brand new stuff that we haven't tried before. Um, we're really kind of trying to stick with that authenticity that we started by Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm 23. I'm Jeremiah. I'm 22. I'm Jenny. I'm 21. I'm Jeanette. I'm 19. Jackson, I'm 17. I'm Jedi, I'm 16. I'm Jasmine, I'm 14. I'm Juliet, and I'm 12. I'm Jane, and I'm 10. I'm Dwayne, I'm 9. I'm Jacob, I'm 14. And I'm 15. And we are the Willis Clan. Yes!
chicken or Raven or Raven chicken? I love our both two meals. The chicken is kind of the time that everybody makes it. Irish chicken and like chicken's got meals. Two knocking around somewhere. They're not, they're not, uh, not too And I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys, a lot of times we don't come up with this stuff beforehand. A lot of times it's like, okay, I know this tune, I know this tune, I know this tune, we'll stream all together and we'll play it. So I have no idea what you're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to try to He's trying to figure out what he's going to play. Really, he knows that he's just trying to be crappy. <laughs>
some questions. I feel like I'm hogging the floor. I know, Mom. The bubble. We can listen to the play for hours. Yeah, if anyone wants to play, yeah, I do. My mom used to call this living room concert. Yeah, we're going to transition. I used to play. TLC show, The Willis Family. They're going to be performing here at Raglan Road, so let's go inside right, here with The preview. Willis Clan. Guys, so first question, what instrument do you have here, and how did you start learning how to play that instrument? Well, here I have an Irish button accordion, and um, I actually started playing fiddle, um, was the first instrument, but I was terrible with um, like hearing and identifying um, pitch, so my sibling said, you need to have an instrument where you just push a button and the right note sounds, so that's how I got started on accordion. <laughs> Um, you know, I started on the Irish whistle, um, and guitar was what I'm playing now is my 
most recent instrument. Um, I've only been playing for a few years, but I've been inspired by people like John Doyle and uh, Ed Boyd and awesome guitar players from all around the world. Hey there. Um, so I'm playing fiddle, and I was kind of... Um, Jerry and I were kind of the first guinea pigs, seeing as we're the two oldest. So my parents hatched this this really um, this really genius plot. They they brought home a fiddle one day. My dad did, and and mom had a whistle. And they they were like, oh, we're gonna learn these instruments, guys. You know, and and Jerry and I were like, oh, we can do that. And like within a week or two, I was trying to play the fiddle, and and Jerry was successfully playing whistle. <laughs> and uh, the funny thing actually um, is. You know, struggled through playing the fiddle. It kind of sounds like a dying cat for the first couple of years. Um, whistle, Jer was like completely genius at it. But uh, since mom and Jer, none of us really knew how to play the Irish whistle. He actually learned to play it upside down. He plays with the wrong hand on top. So, fun trivia about the Willis clan there. <laughs> um, I'm Jeanette, and I play mainly Irish whistle. And uh, Jeremiah has been a huge inspiration for me and kind of growing up seeing that being so surrounded by it was very accessible to me and so uh, I wasn't going to be uh, left out from all the fun so that's what I that's what I play now. <laughs> I am Jedi and I play the bass and how I learned bass is I had <laughs> it was three days before the world championships of Irish music and my dad said we need a bass player so I had three days to learn bass before and, and we qualified and we ended up winning yes i had stand on the stool because i was so tiny i played like the big acoustic upright and i was so tiny i was like seven at the time so yeah i had three days to learn it and it was pretty awesome and then he was stuck and then i was stuck with it exactly i'm jackson i'm 17 and uh i first started off on this instrument called the baron and um i don't i like to hit stuff a lot no i was kidding uh, I don't remember how I started learning it. Jennifer actually was the first one who played it, and um, I don't remember ever like sitting down and starting to learn it. Like I've always been playing it, and so I can't really tell you. Yeah, so I guess my siblings could tell you. My older siblings could tell you better than me. So we we actually hit you on the head a couple times, so you don't remember. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what I was wondering. You know. <laughs> You guys are obviously here playing at Raglan Road for the next few days. This is not your first time here. How many gigs do you guys play a year? Well, last year we did over 200 gigs. Um, that includes like radio and TV things as well. But um, yeah, so um, really it's only been the last two two years that we've actually officially toured as a band. Um, before that, we very rarely played shows. We were constantly playing together just around the house stuff. But um, yeah, so we're starting to play a, a lot more shows. <laughs> That's really cool. So seeing how we're here in Disney Springs at Raglan Road, what's your favorite attraction and thing to do here at Disney World and why? Got, gotta say, whatever we would have said before, we are we are clearing the slate because we want to check out the new Star Wars stuff. We are huge Star Wars fans, obviously with the movie coming out and everything. We are, we are just so on that kick right now. I mean, our brother's name is Jedi. If you can't, yeah. I wonder, will they like let him go to the front of the line? Like He's like, I'm a Jedi. No, really. try. Yeah, I think you will let me. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we're definitely going to be checking out the new Star Wars stuff. Cool. If you guys would like to find out more information about the Willis Clan or see where they might be playing next, you can go to thewillisclan.com. You know what? I think I want to learn a little jig. Can you guys help me out? There we go. We are the Willis Clan. We are a family band. There's 12 kids. There's a big old group of us. Um, I'm Jessica. I'm the oldest. I'm 23. Maybe we'll just I'm Jeremiah, I'm 22. I'm Jenny, I'm 21. I'm Jeanette, and I'm 19. I'm Jackson, I'm 17. I'm Jedi, and I'm 16. That's most of the, the older kids, that's the first half, then we have Jasmine, Julie, Jamie, Joy, Jager, and Jada that are also part of the show. They dance, they're learning their instruments, so um, yeah, there's never a dull moment, and uh, we play lots of, lots of um, standard regular instruments, like we'll see guitar, fiddle, we've also got some crazy ones, like Jen here plays the, uh, the button accordion, crazy good, not crazy bad. Um, Jackson's got a very interesting traditional Irish drum here called Bara, so yeah, we do all sorts of different styles of music. It's always fun to be at Disney World, and, and Raglan Road is one of the coolest, it's so authentic. Um, we've been to Ireland many times, and, and you just walk in and that, that's exactly where you think you are. So we're going to be pulling out some of our favorite Irish stuff, old stuff, some brand new stuff that we haven't tried before, um, but really kind of trying to stick with that authenticity that um, we'll be surrounded by in this cool place. All right, I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. We're going to give you a little sneak peek what we're going to be bringing here um, at Raglan Road in the next couple of days. Thank you. 
sitting by the country road. Squat and slimy, big and fat. Aren't you glad you're not like that? He sat and stared at flea and fly and watched the people passing by. Obnoxious fumes were hanging round from engines speeding on the ground. Mud was splashing, horns were clashing. Such an awful toady place. In mud he wallowed, bugs he swallowed, nasty grins upon his face. What warts he had, and pimples too. What awful things he liked to do. Till then, one day, while feeling foul and eyeing traffic with a scowl, he saw a bug, both big and plump, and nice and juicy, was it rough. With beady gaze and greedy ways, he sat and waited in the haze, till there, aha, it came in reach, and so he snatched it like a peach. <laughs> His tongue was long, and lightning quick, though such a snap would make me sick, he gulped it down with grand delight, making a disgusting sight. But oh, what's wrong? He grabbed his throat, his manner desperate, I took note. Ah, it seemed the bite was much too big. I want to grieve selfish pig. <laughs> but there he was in dire plight, putting up a gruesome fight. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't nice. He tried to call for help, twice. He couldn't rivet, he couldn't croak. All he did was choke and choke. <laughs> Finally, in desperation, giving way to aggravation, out he stepped into the street, never knowing what he'd meet. A passing car was unaware of tragedy occurring there, and lickety split the bunker spot. The grump was gone, the toad was flat. <laughs> a pancake colored brown and green, the spectacle was quite obscene. But I have to say, a fitting end for one so foul and without friend. No one mourned, no one cried. One more toad just up and died. In fact, unless I wrote this ode, none would know of Jer the Toad. <laughs> using drugs. It is not. It's just not that way at all. Ready?
uh, getting you guys dancing or clapping along and hopefully having a good time and staying warm. So, um, we have a set of tunes here um, that strangely we call the IFS set, which actually doesn't really stand for anything anymore, really. Uh, it was very, like, randomly named. So we actually like to ask people, like, if you have any good suggestions of what IFS could stand for, you should tell us, like, that's kind of backwards. Normally, obviously, you are naming it for a purpose, but if you have something that IFS could stand for, uh, just come let us know. It's, uh, it has a jig to start, and then uh, it goes into the tune, uh, the melody of a song called Shid Wamoy, which is a, uh, it's in Gaelic, and I used to sing it, but I, my, my Gaelic's really rusty, so I'm not going to sing it, we're just going to play the tune. And then the last tune is an original called Slamming Doors and Smashing Windows. And we were in Ireland once, and we were talking to a bunch of the little kids there, real troublemakers, and uh, they were just just running every which way, and coming over into our home where we were staying, like, and hanging out with, like, we're, we're total strangers, right? These kids are just like... Took a job at the way down on couch on the street Fell in love with the laundry girl who was working next to me From hands exactly across the face From a look of half surprise Like a fox caught in the headlines There was a woman in her eyes She said to me, can't you see I'm not the factory kind If you don't give me out of here I'll show you who's my mind Oh gosh, you're so too
Mark just walked past you guys. That sucked. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. No, I don't know. <laughs> she was thinking it. Well. Just gonna go with pot. So I think that'll start a diet and watch all the food I eat. I'm just needing the will to try it. When I'm looking at a piece of me, I get it. It goes on, but then there's like about deep dish pizza and all kinds of stuff. But the last verse, <laughs> yeah, we're from Chicago, so like deep dish. You go, oh look, check it out. They they know what pizza is. Let me tell you, they know what pizza is. Um, but the last verse is like, so so I'm gathering up my courage, cause I gotta step on the scale. 
I'm so tired of feeling flabby And looking like a blob of whale <laughs> So that's what we do on road trips <laughs> Just start off with a song here called Looking Back. This is one of our own, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Yeah, the house music is off, right? That's just from across the street. Okay, so we're just going to be louder then. Or if a really good song comes on, we'll just play along with it. Yes. Here we go. opportunity to make good on that dance suggestion. We're going to play a traditional Irish jig here for you. Um, actually, we, we do know the lady who actually wrote this tune. Um, if you've ever heard of the band Cherish the Ladies, um, they're, they're whistle and blue player. Her name is Joni Ben, and she is a force of nature. And uh, we grew up listening to their band, and, uh, and when we were quite young, we got to meet them. And Joni got to see her brother Jer here, who used to, used to play whistle a lot. And he liked to play extremely, extremely fast. And uh, she's from the Bronx, so she's she's like, we should say large and in charge. And she came to Jerry and she said, young man, do you see this foot? 
Do you know what I'm going to do with this foot if you don't slow down? So that's Jer's, Jer's story with Johnny Madden there. And she wrote this tune. It's called The Cat's Meow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.